Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a walk cycle of a dog in side view. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator. For the limbs and tail, I'm going to redesign it in After Effects because we are going to use rubber hose to plug in for today's lesson. Okay, so let's jump on to After Effects. So now let's select the neck and move the anchor point at this point. Parent neck with body, select head and move the anchor point over here. After that, select the body, move the anchor point over here. Parent head with neck and neck band with head. After that, let's solo the ear layer. Now we are going to add some pin tools over here. Let's add one pin over here, one over here, one over here and one over here. Select the puppet. Then again, turn on twig. So we are going to turn those pins into bone tools. So select puppet and then click on add bones. So all the pins are converted into bones. Let's rename it. All right, let's parent four with three, three with two and two with one and one with the head. And let's just lock this eye, solo it for now and shy it out. Okay. So now turn on your rubber hose to plug in and let's create a new hose. So I'm going to name it leg one and click on start and end and then click on new hose. Okay, select this start, put it over here, select end, put it over here, decrease the length a bit. So now select this hose and change the color of the stroke to this one. Let's increase the stroke width. Okay, let's select all these layers and put it below body. And let's reposition it. All right, now we are going to animate this end portion. So open the position, put a keyframe. Remember a dog walk cycle is kind of similar to a human walk cycle. The legs walk and each of the legs follow the same walk cycle key poses such as contact and then passing pose and then up and down pose. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Select the position, then move the position over here. And also a typical run, walk cycle of a dog also maintains a one second. So we are going to jump on to next 30 frames and put another keyframe over here. Press end to bring the work area end over here. After that, jump on to next 15 frames. Okay, now let's jump on to next eight frames and move it above. This is the passing pose of this particular leg. Okay, select all these keyframes and easy is it and just select this one. Press and hold control and click on it to double click on it to select and change it to roving keyframe. Let's check the animation. All right, so it's looking pretty nice now. Now we need to adjust this start point a bit. Open the position, put a keyframe at this point. Open then again at this point, let's move it over here. At this point, let's move it
Let's check it now. All right. So select the keyframes and easy is it. Now we can even speed up the walk cycle a bit. So we are going to move all these three keyframes by two frames. Yeah, this one is looking better. Okay, now select these three hoses and come over here in rubber hose, go to manage and duplicate the hose by clicking on it. So to duplicate the hose, you have to click and do it like this. Now we are going to add loop expression to all these properties with keyframes. So now we are going to offset these keyframes and put it exactly at the middle and this should look like a walk cycle. Okay, now we are going to select this hose and change the color a bit and give it some darker shade. Okay. And let's select these two keyframes and slightly shift it backwards a bit. All right, yeah, so this one is looking better. Now select all these four hoses with including this. Go to manage and again duplicate the layers. Press U to open the properties with keyframes. And then again, select the position properties and move it backwards to get the legs of the back side. Now we might have to fix this one a bit. Okay, so let's remove the keyframes from this one and let's put it over here. All right, so yeah, this one is looking better. Okay, now select the start of all the hoses and parent it with body. Now, if we move the body, the start point should move together. All right, now open the position property of the body and put a keyframe again. Jump at the mate point and slightly bring it down and let's select the keyframes and just reverse the order at this point it should be upwards okay now we are going to animate the body of this character so select the body layer put a keyframe on position and jump over here exactly at the middle where this leg is at this point. So basically somewhere in between of these two contact poses. So we are going to drag this upwards a bit. Again at this point let's bring it even down. And at this point let's copy the initial keyframe and easy is the keyframes. Copy the loop expression and paste it over here. Let's check out our animation. All right. Now open the rotation, put a keyframe at this point as well. So at this point, I'm going to move it this side. So let's give it minus two degree of rotation. And at this point, it would be two. At this point, let's copy the initial keyframe, select the keyframes and easy is it and copy the loop expression and paste it over here. Let's offset the rotation. 
All right, so now we are going to make the tail of this character. For that, we are going to add another hose over here and name it tail. Let's drag the end and put it over here and drag the start and put it over here. Select the end, change the direction of the bend. After that, decrease the length a bit. We are going to change the color of the tail to this white color. Okay, now let's increase the stroke. Let's parent this end with body. And we are going to animate the start point. So open the position, put a keyframe. At this point, again put a keyframe. So at this point, we are going to move it down. Okay, select end and also add a keyframe on bent direction. And then again put a keyframe over here. So at this point, we are going to make it 70% so that we can. Okay, so we need to bend the direction at this point. Let's make the motion path a bit curved. Okay. And then at this point, let's copy the initial keyframe and paste it over here. Select all the keyframes and easy as it. And change the motion path. Let's copy the loop expression and paste it over here. Okay, so we are going to offset the tail animation with respect to this body rotation. So we are going to offset it two frames from the rotation. Let's check it now. Yeah, this one is looking better. So now we are going to add some animation to the ear as well so that we can add some follow through to it. So we are going to copy this rotation keyframes. Jump at this point, select these layers and paste it over here. Okay, now we are going to change the values. Let's change it to 5 and minus 5. So let's offset the keyframes by two frame. Okay, let's check the animation. So we can increase this, the values a bit. All right, so this one is looking better. So like this, you can animate a dog walk cycle inside view in After Effects. So do try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding this lesson. So that is it for this one. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.